Hi, it's Jeff Larson, and this is the one and only second generation Duesenberg 20 grand. It's actually going up for sale at the Russo and Steel auction January 18th, 2012. I want to take a minute to do a walk around to show some of the features and the level of detail that you may not see on our website. Obviously, you can see the blinkers that we hidden behind the horn screens. Tons of chrome, the uh, cashmere slash pewter paint, I think turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm going to walk around from the driver's side and then do some interior detail from the passenger side. Chromed up luggage rack. Thank you Randy Ema and Craig from Speed and Sport Chrome. There's our four-way flashers in the back. Chrome exhaust tip. I want to go into a little bit of the inside of the car. We spent a lot of time on the interior of this car, and I think we did a pretty good job myself. The door panels, everything in the interior is all trimmed up in cherry and walnut. Chromed up as good as we can possibly match. Headliner. The ribbed headliner, close as we could get to the original. Power windows. Using the original look. Window cranks. Power locks, manual overrides on the locks. That cherry wood pattern right there, that X pattern was actually cut out of a water jet machine. I know they steam vent that stuff back in the day. Here's a little chunk of what's left over. Basically we built it up on the computer, took it apart like a puzzle and assembled it like a puzzle and finished it. As far as the wood interior and the dash components, all solid walnut. We got a heat vent up in the middle, rear speedometer, uh, compass and a clock, all the chrome trim. Again, the uh, original look steering wheel, the top two balls on the steering wheel are the left and right blinkers. You can turn them both on as I have right now for four way flashers. Hidden stereo that slides up under the dash. Five speed manual transmission. We flattened out the floorboards, took out the transmission hump, did as close as we could on the gas pedal, brake pedal, clutch. We added the clutch ourselves. A lot of chrome here, a lot of burl. Got the vintage air, heat and air controls. A lot of chrome, wood. More headliner. All the fun part. We love this part here. This is uh, obviously the original. 20 grand was supercharged. We couldn't see not doing it. So we put a 671 blower on the original 351 Windsor motor. Chromed it up, put a uh, vintage air chrome front end kit, uh, chrome valve covers, and then the exhaust, which is the only one that we've ever seen that takes a small block V8 exhaust, runs it through the four side pipes comes down below the fenders together and goes in through an exhaust cutout. This does have a muffled bypass as the original does. And it sounds really dope. That's it. I just want to do a quick run through and uh, hopefully we'll see you out at Russo. I didn't want to get into the history of how it got to here, but I wanted to show the features. Thanks for looking.